Hello everyone! Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Stephanie and I work at the Japanese Cultural and Community Center of Northern California. Today I will be sharing a story from Japanese children's favorite stories and this story today is called The Spider Weaver. Long ago there was a young farmer named Yosaku. One day he was working in the fields and saw a snake about to eat a spider. Yosaku felt sorry for the spider, so he ran at the snake with his hoe and drove it away. The spider disappeared into the grass, but first it seemed to pause a moment and bow in thanks toward Yosaku. One morning, not long after that, Yosaku was in his house when he heard a tiny voice calling, Yosaku, Yosaku. He opened the door and saw a beautiful girl standing there. I heard that you're looking for someone to weave cloth for you, said the girl. Won't you please let me live here and weave for you? Yosaku was very pleased because he did need someone to help him. He showed the girl the weaving room and she started to work at the loom with cotton. At the end of the day, Yosaku went to see what she had done and was very surprised to find that she had woven eight long pieces of cloth, enough to make eight kimono. He had never known anyone who could weave so much in a single day. However, did you weave so much cloth? He asked the girl. But instead of answering him, she said, you mustn't ask me that, and you must never come into the weaving room while I'm at work. But Yosaku was very curious. So one day he slipped quietly to the into the weaving room and peeped into the window. What he saw really surprised him. It was not the girl who was seated at the loom, but a large spider weaving very fast with its eight legs, and for thread it was using its own spider web which came out of its mouth. Yosaku looked again and saw that it was the same spider that he had saved from the snake. Then he understood. The spider had been so thankful that it wanted to do something to help him, so it had turned itself into a very beautiful girl to help him weave cloth. By eating the cotton that was in the weaving room, it could spit it into thread and weave it into cloth very, very quickly. Yosaku was very grateful for the, for the spider's help. He saw that the cotton was almost used up. So the next morning, he set out for the nearest village on the other side of the mountains to buy some more. He bought a big bundle of cotton and started home carrying it on his back. So this is... Saku, the spider. And now, let's see this. Along the way, a terrible thing happened. As Yosaku sat down to rest, the same snake that he'd driven away from the spider came and slipped inside the bundle of cotton. But Yosaku didn't know about this, so he carried the cotton home and gave it to the girl. She was very glad to get the cotton because she had now used up all of the cotton that was left. So she took it and went to the weaving room. As soon as the girl was inside the weaving room, she turned back into a spider and began eating the cotton so that she could spin it into thread. The spider ate and ate and ate, and then suddenly, when it had eaten down to the bottom of the bundle, the snake jumped right out of the cotton and straight at her. Oh, no. The snake opened its mouth wide to swallow the spider. The spider was very frightened and jumped out the window, but the snake went wriggling after it. But the spider had eaten so much cotton that it couldn't run fast, and the snake soon caught up with it. Again, the snake opened its mouth wide to gulp the spider down, but just then, a wonderful thing happened. Old Man Sun, up in the sky, had been watching what was happening. He knew how kind the spider had been to Yosaku, and he felt very sorry for the poor little spider. So he reached down with a sunbeam and caught hold of the end of the web that was sticking out of the spider's mouth, and he gently lifted the spider high up into the sky where the snake couldn't reach her. The spider was very grateful to Old Man Sun for saving her from the snake. And so she used all the cotton inside her body to weave many beautiful fleecy clouds high up in the sky. This is the reason, they say, why clouds are soft and white like cotton, and also why a spider and a cloud are both called by the same name in Japan, Kumo. And that is the end of the spider weaver. 
I hope you enjoyed that and thank you so much for listening.